morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from, Dumelang, which means hello. Hey guys, my name is Lillian, if you're new here, and um, what we do on this channel is we do story times, we do, <clears throat> excuse me, we do recipes, we do vlogs, lifestyle, and we have lots of fun while doing it. Ask those who've been around for a while. I mean, you can't be sticking around for nothing, right? And today is just a short little uh, mm, story time about my pearly whites. Not so white, but hey. So, <laughs> my teeth. As you can see from the title, it's about my teeth. Um, which is something that I think people, normally we don't talk about much because either people have really good teeth and I just have horrible teeth. Or... We're just not talking about it. I don't know what it is, but we're just not talking about it. So I've had a long journey with my teeth. Um, I come from a family of not very good teeth and not very good hair. As you can see, like you can almost count how many hairs I got. Not these ones, but I mean, as in, I have very little hair. So, because even my mama, mm, I think most of her teeth are not hers. I don't know where she got them from, but they're not hers. Mm, so yeah. Now, my problem is very simple. I have a sweet tooth. I've always had a sweet tooth from when I was a young girl until today. I do not like bitter, sour um, things. I'm a sweet tooth. I'm the girl who will eat the cake. I'm the girl who will eat the ice cream. Uh, I'm the girl who will eat only white chocolate. I'm not a fan of brown. White chocolate. Um, I'm the girl who will drink juice at night. I'm the girl, you know, all that. So, at first, I thought it wasn't... If you can hear a banging noise, my neighbors have children, so excuse me and them. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's those are some of my problems. And because of my sweet tooth, I tend to not take, and not even because of my teeth, sweet tooth, but I didn't used to take care of my teeth very well. So um, I've been to numerous doctors. I've lost several teeth, and that is why we're here today. So I'm not going to prolong this. I'm going to make it very short, sweet, and to the point. So, number one, I've lost six teeth. Yes, six teeth. So the four molars, one here, as you can see, there's a space here, and uh, another one down here. I can't show you because that would be opening my mouth. So six teeth. Um, the first time I had an account, and I had an encounter. Wow, the first time I had. An encounter with a dentist I was living in the US and my molars the back teeth started hurting and so I had to get them uh, I had to go see a doctor so that he could tell me what was wrong with the teeth <clears throat> and I had to remove four of them on one day it was not fun it was not funny it was not fun I couldn't eat for a week um, I used to take yogurt and like literally like <laughs> pour it in my mouth um uh, because of the 40 that were removed at the same time so that was not fun then i moved to kenya and i've had several encounters um for those of you who don't know i live in nakuru so if you're in nakuru you will understand these places i've been to guido plaza i've been to gatehouse i've been to war memorial or annex i never know the difference between the two the one that's facing the highway is it war memorial or is it annex one of the two and I finally landed at Evans Sunrise. Now, all these people were great. Dr. Baraza at uh, Guido Plaza, awesome guy. I did not like his colleague because um, there's a procedure that I was doing on my, this tooth and Dr. Baraza had started it. So I had gone and um, the doctor, he was not in. So I had to see the colleague, I don't remember his name. And during the procedure, which I can't remember whether we were removing or we were root canaling. I cannot remember. He broke the tooth. So he physically had to go and remove each, <clears throat> you know, when it breaks, it's like into fragments. He had to literally go and remove one piece at a time. It was the most painful, excruciatingly painful thing I've ever gone through. And I walked out of that office and never walked back. Nothing wrong with the, the doctor, the main doctor. Nothing wrong with him. I just didn't like my experience. I don't understand why I should feel pain or why you broke my tooth 
and there was nothing wrong with it we were doing a procedure so what happened it was <sighs> i did not like that experience then so i moved on i went to annex or war memorial one of the two i confused the two i saw a great doctor there um <clears throat> you know yourself i will not mention you because i didn't ask and he did did we do two root canals i think we did two root canals and by the way doc your the root canals they're still there still good to go but all the other because i've done about one two three four five root canals five root canals and all of them had issues except for the two that i did uh at war memorial or annex one of the two places um i, I decided to try out a new dentist i went to evans evans is expensive but dr linda is amazing she's fixed all my teeth and so far so good she's done two root canals she's also done two what did you call them she had to put like two pillars or two posts in two of my teeth here so that if so that i don't lose them i would have had no teeth on this side on the upper side absolutely no teeth so she had to put like two pillars so now i'm left with putting a crown so that at least it can hold in the tooth but yeah if you can see you can see there's some some blackness that's from the filling it's been filled it's been root canal it's 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 been put pillars in it's been it's been done the most but i have to say that um after i started seeing uh, dr linda um a significant improvement because i'm the type of girl who has the kind of teeth that i could be eating near my trauma especially i think it's this side this side has a lot of problems i could be eating yamachoma and i just feel like I, I not feel like you know how you hear like a popping sound and i just know that's a tooth that's just a tooth my teeth just literally just fall off so i don't know what she did she must have glued them together because these days i don't have an issue but i started taking care of them i've started taking care of my teeth i've never done that so i guess maybe also I'm the kind of girl who used to brush once a, once a day at night uh, no, in the morning and of course now if you have a sweet tooth and you're not brushing your teeth you might not be doing justice to yourself so i decided to take um take care of my teeth and um since i can take care of my face take care of my body take care of my hair why not take care of my teeth which is something people just don't talk about so i get into a, I've try, i'm trying to make sure i get into a routine whereby i'm brushing my teeth I try and brush my teeth after every meal sometimes lunch is not possible but at least morning and evening and then i've started using floss i love these little guys because first of all they have a floss and they have a toothpick side this is not advisable the toothpicks like we're not allowed it's not advisable to pick your teeth but um to use floss at least before or, or after i like flossing after i brush my teeth you'll be surprised at how much you have left in your teeth after brushing yeah so i've been flossing you can get these or you can get this is my other or the normal one you know the one that comes uh how do you open this thing you know the one that just comes like that so you floss your teeth you can get that or these these are amazing um another thing that i suffer from apart from very fragile teeth is sensitive teeth like eating ice cream or something some something cold like maybe a slushy or an ice cold drink my teeth do, do not like they're very sensitive so i started using sensodyne now i know you've seen the adverts and you're always on some maybe some of you wonder is it really it is really ever since i started using sensodyne i i'm not saying my teeth are not sensitive or that i am able to take cold drinks or eat my ice cream without you know screaming because <laughs> yeah it's actually very irritating and to some extent it can be painful so this has really helped this has really 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 helped they're less sensitive and um yeah they're way more less sensitive than they used to be the only problem with this dude is this dude is expensive this dude is expensive 
this dude is expensive so what i do is if you can ever get somebody who's living like who's going outside the country um and these things are 30 bucks where i come from 30 bucks or 25 so whenever i go home i normally come back with like four or five of them to keep me up to the next time when i'm going because th these are expensive i don't understand why i should be paying how much are they 500 600 700 for toothbrush um, for toothpaste so yeah i normally buy them when i'm not around so that i can um, imagine i buy them at 300 bob at home or 250 bob depending on where i'm buying it from and here i'm paying between five and six so i buy sensodyne if you can use it you can even buy sensodyne and something else and then be using this once a day to make this last longer but it works another thing that i've decided to do is keep changing toothbrushes i'm the kind of person who use a toothbrush forever and ever and ever do not do that change your toothbrush i hear every three months I don't do that but i change it at least every six months you should be able to change your toothbrush but it's good to change your toothbrush change your toothbrush wash your toothbrush um make sure you're keeping it in a place whereby it's not getting dirt on it or germs in it or just make sure you're keeping it somewhere safe and well i normally like to boil sometimes my toothbrushes that's up to you but make sure you're changing your toothbrush and then create a routine so all this to say that I can eat on this side but i can't eat very well on this side i know it's sad i'm talking like i'm a 70 year old eh? and i'm not anyway take care of your teeth take care of them I, I envy guys who are like oh i have all my teeth never been to a dentist don't know what a dentist hospital um, a dentist office looks like i'm just like i practically live there me and dentists same or some group But it's fine. I remember telling my dentist to go get the goat and get the teeth and put them in there. And she laughed and she was like, no, nah, cannot do that. Your teeth are better, blah, 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 blah. I'm still looking for a dentist who can put good teeth in my teeth. We remove all these teeth, put good teeth in there or whatever anymore. And so that I can eat like a normal human being. But anyway, ever since I started taking care of my teeth, no problems. I haven't lost a tooth. I haven't had to go in for a procedure. I'll just make sure that I clean them, I floss them, I brush them, and we're good to go. So let us have that conversation so that people can learn that even if you have awesome teeth, you don't know what's going on in there. So make sure you get your regular checkups, make sure you're cleaning your teeth. And yeah, this video was not supposed to be this long. 12 minutes is already too long. So thank you for watching. You know what to do. Like, subscribe. Turn on your notification. That thing always gets me. Turn on your notification bell so that you are notified when I release a video. Now, if you've gotten to the end of this video, thank you. You are the real OG. You really are. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.